I mean, revenue is still strong. It's up more than 20%, but it was a significant miss. Can you dig into was it really all lackluster sales over the festive period? You know, it's, uh, it's when you look back at those numbers for the last holiday season, for example, up 18% reported. And um, yet they grew 24, 25, 26, 27% revenue top line. So there's a little bit of a, a revenue miss on the, uh, I think, consumer business. International business was up. So that's good. And the AWS business, as you said, is, is way up. So uh, they hit their own estimate bracket, but they obviously missed the street. And so, uh, you know, as an industry analyst, you try to look at some of the underlying forces. Why? Phil, investment is heavy at this company, $42 billion being plowed. And yeah. we're used, with Je used to Jeff Bezos saying, look, jam tomorrow, never jam today. But is he spending wisely? I think so. Uh, and I think this is the difficulty of being a public company that innovates so much, is uh, you get measured on the stuff that you worked on 10 years ago that's actually bringing in the main stream of your revenue. But the real work, the real innovation is happening on things that won't really cash flow for, for five to 10 years. And I think uh, AWS is a good example of something in the middle. It's bringing enormous, tremendous value to the world, uh, but you won't really see its full financial potential probably for a few years. And then the stuff they're doing with, with Alexa, the stuff yeah. they're doing, the more advanced research that they're going on in AI has the potential to just be world changing. But again, you won't see that in mainstream numbers for a few years uh, to come. I mean, if we put it in perspective, Ted, shares down by some 3%, but they've rocketed over the past 12 months. So it is just yeah. a small flinch here. Ted, is, where do investors want to see the sort of growth? Are they just going to have to get used to every now and then sales being perhaps slightly below where they had hoped, but generally keep on betting on this AI that we're seeing, on the content that we're seeing? Yeah, you know, that, that's a pretty complicated question, actually, because the company's been rewarded for revenue growth and consistent growth and, and rapid growth, of course. And as Phil indicates, um, they're making investments in things that are not just about growth, but about revenue um, uh, driving to the, to the bottom line, so about profit. And so you think about repeat business and the growth in Amazon Prime, you know, 50 million SKUs, tens of millions of new users, Prime, uh, which is a loyalty program as well. You get movies and television. This is about driving repeat business, lifetime value, and uh, customer satisfaction. So that doesn't pay off necessarily in revenue this holiday season or, or, or this year, but it pays off in that long-term commitment that Amazon makes to customers, customers make to Amazon. So when you look at the spend, the flip side of it, they have to invest. They got to spend heavily in uh, the logistics, you know, they're, they're doing a ship, a container ship. They have this ground fleet for, for same day delivery. So there's big investments to drive that loyalty, drive that lifetime value. And that, that costs money and it's going to be a little lumpy, I think. We'll see more lumpiness probably, but I think we'll see uh, overall uh, more, more profit as well. I thought it was interesting digging into the earnings. They said they've launched Prime in China mm -hmm. with millions of authentic international products. That's obviously a little bit of a warning to Alibaba. But international growth and where Amazon can dominate, it, do you believe this is going to be the company that we are becoming addicted to from an ecosystem point of view? I do. I think Amazon is one of the two or three most important companies over the next decade. You know, I made my first Amazon purchase exactly 20 years ago. Uh, <laughs> I just realized it was in 1997 because I have a screenshot in my Evernote account of my very first Amazon purchase. <laughs> what was it? It, it was uh, The Faith Healers by James Randi, a book. Okay. Uh, all they sold was books back then. Yeah. Uh, and uh, w how far they've come in 20 years, the areas that they've fundamentally innovated in, both in terms of geography, but also in terms of just infrastructure, new products, have been breathtaking. And if anything, the pace of new stuff that they're doing is increasing. So I think as a, if you evaluate them as an early stage investment, they are actually going faster and faster and they're very attractive. The paradox is they're actually not an early stage investment, they're a giant public company. Uh, so I think that's where the tension comes from, but I remain extremely enthusiastic about Amazon. And when you look at the analyst yeah, recommendations, me, me not one that. single one says sales. Yeah. Sorry, Ted? Yeah, and it's just hard to jump in, but um, when you look at Alexa, and Echo and, and that box you talk to to order stuff or turn your music on, that is phenomenal. And you look at yeah. the investment that developers have made, tens of thousands of developers, the skills that they're building. This is, this is a platform, Ten. this is an ecosystem for the future.